When children and families in the heart of America need the best medicine, they turn to Children's Mercy. I told Dr. Tolbert that day, I'm trusting you with my baby. This January, the Emmy Award-winning docu-series Inside Pediatrics returns for a powerful third season to take you inside the emotional journeys of children who just want a chance. Zay was a happy, healthy 15-year-old until her lungs just stopped working. Zay had such poorly functioning lungs that we all felt if she did not go onto this machine that it was highly likely that she would die. Dedicated pediatric experts at Children's Mercy pushed the limits of hope and medicine to keep her alive on a courageous year-long journey to survive. I don't have any other choice. I don't want to die. Jack wasn't thriving after birth. It took a specialist at Children's Mercy to find out why. When I met Jack, he had all of the symptoms of uremia, which are the symptoms of kidney failure. A child with kidney failure can die of kidney failure. He needs a kidney donor. Luckily, he found one, his dad. I need daddy kidney. Oh. I feel absolutely blessed that I am able to give my son my kidney. Little Zaya was born with half a heart. She needs multiple procedures from the region's top surgeons to rebuild her heart and requires months of high-tech monitoring. We had about 20% of kids with hypoplastic left heart syndrome that were passing away at home in between the first two surgeries, and that's not okay. But her complicated care becomes even more complex. We didn't want to hear the, the bad news. Nobody wants to hear the bad news. Martin loves to ride his bike but cerebral palsy limits his movement. Dr. Keeler was able to do a life-changing procedure that's gonna change the way Martin moves. Insights from one of the nation's most advanced motion analysis labs makes that possible. I actually did alter my treatment plan based on the data from the lab. And eight-year-old Leah's malformed heart wasn't strong enough to keep her alive. Her heart just stopped. When she went to sleep, uh, her heart just decided not to work anymore. It had given up completely. Pediatric heart surgeons and intensive care specialists struggle to keep Leah alive as she waits at the top of the national transplant list. I'm just waiting for my heart. And in an emotional climax to the season, find out if Leah receives her gift of life. Inside Pediatrics takes you inside one of the busiest independent nonprofit children's hospitals in the country, where pediatric specialists change lives and bring hope to every family every day. Here at Children's Mercy, we have access to so many resources that ensures that we always stay on top of what's best for our children. We see the sickest of the sick, and we take care of the most critically ill patients in our region. In an effort to try to save everybody we can, we push the envelope. This is why we do what we do, to cure kids, to help kids, and again, to change the lives of the families. Go inside pediatrics at Children's Mercy Kansas City, where cutting-edge science and world-class care come together just for kids. Watch Inside Pediatrics, January 2019 on KMBC.